Okay, so, so I bought this. Uh, I bought this set of like fifty uh, hypothetical questions by um, some random dude. Good for road trips. It's extremely good. I highly recommend it. I think they um, they actually didn't nickel and dime for this because it actually says retail price was fifteen bucks, and that's what it was uh. in the thing. So it wasn't overly expensive. But uh, it's pretty good. It says uh, it's Wait, where'd you get this? I like, bought this in a machine. A vending machine. What? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> there was okay. a vending machine for it. So there's a hypothetical question in here that, that I was gonna read the intro, but I'd rather go right to this hypothetical. This one's called Super Gorilla. This is this is pretty much hard hitting questions sure? in card form. Yeah. Well, we don't know how extreme this motherfucker gets. So Chuck Kloster Klosterman. He might get pretty extreme. Hey, it's we already heard a pretty game. extreme one. Yeah, his example on the back was like, you know, if you had to starve, would you eat babies or elderly people? <laughs> Wait, this isn't even, this isn't even like, okay. Genetic engineers at Johns Hopkins University Oh, that's a novel university. that they have developed a so-called super gorilla. Though the animal cannot speak, it has a sign language lexicon of more than 12,000 words, an IQ of nearly 85, and most notable, a vague sense of self-awareness. This is like super specific. Like, it is, it is. No, it's, it it's is. It's an entire paragraph. Like, it, they put you in a scenario and then I guess you have to just answer their, their question. Oddly, the creature who weighs 700 pounds becomes fascinated by football. The gorilla aspires to play the game at its highest level and quickly develops rudimentary skills of a defensive end. What? ESPN analyst Tom Jackson speculates that this gorilla would be borderline unblockable <laughs> and would likely average six sacks per game. Oh, oh man. Although Jackson concedes that the best, the beast, might be susceptible to counters and mix, misdirection plays. Meanwhile, smart the, enough. meanwhile, the gorilla has made it clear that he would never intentionally injure a, any opponent. Oh, the gorilla has made that clear <laughs> with wow. the through sign language. <laughs> he's he's okay. You are the commissioner of the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> would, would you allow this gorilla to sign with the Oakland Raiders? <laughs> well, that works for California, I guess. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Well, super gorilla. <laughs> would you allow it in those circumstances? Couldn't they just have said, there's a really good gorilla who can play football. Would you let no, him play? Have to, but he, he, could go he has extreme. to lay out all the options. He would go know? super extreme and he could kill a man. He could kill a man. He, he promised he would. His though. instincts. Do his, you his trust the gorilla is pretty much what it comes down to. Exactly. His instinctual, like, uh, you know, instincts. Natural instincts. His instinctual word. instincts. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wow. That could take over and he could go crazy and just start smashing the QB. I would be okay if it was Tom Brady, but there's some other QBs out huh. there that I actually care for. Huh. Hmm. I, I don't know. know. I'd let him in. You'd let him in. I'd, I'd let, let him, him in. in. You'd let him in? I think that would be great for the sport of football because yeah, so many more people would want to come I would see. kind of wonder and that would if mean you, commissioner's paycheck if, would go up. If the offer stood on the table and then you declined him, what he would do? What would the gorilla do? <laughs> You're there at the contract. Would he say like "fuck you" in sign language? Would he give you one of these? Like, what would the gorilla do? So you know? it's like for for like uh, I smell a new Disney movie. For, <laughs> for the draft pick, it's like we get the, the super Oakland gorilla Raiders pick. Super gorilla. <laughs> super gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Just starts fucking beating the shit out of the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing his shit at the fucking ref. The thing is, like, I get that uh, it's like the that you know the gorilla will be optimal for football. The gorilla is seven hundred pounds. Seven hundred pounds. Yeah. The gorilla doesn't need to know any skills. He could misstep he and could break fucking, someone's foot. He could take out their entire defensive line, like, just, including the offensive line with it. He would grab whoever has the ball, pick them up, and take the football, toss them aside, Probably run rip their arm off in the process. Fucking <laughs> yeah. go in the stadium, start beating the shit out of people there, like. <laughs> 
This might be a little bit dangerous. He sees a, a fried banana in the stands and freaks out oh, and man. charges in. I'm not gonna trust a gorilla to tell me that it's not gonna hurt anybody. It's a <laughs> gorilla. I've seen the Discovery Channel. I don't know, this could go either way. So you're saying you'd say no, Alex? I would say no. On the principle that it's a fucking gorilla. I'm telling you, more I would more say no people, just to see how it patient. would react because this is, it seems like this gorilla has its sights set on the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> so if I said no, I would only imagine what would this gorilla's purpose in life be otherwise? This gorilla is going to get a fat paycheck, it's going to get a Lamborghini and start driving <laughs> down Hollywood Boulevard or whatever and fucking crash it. Now here's right? another you question. Think, you like, if, if you decline him, in the NFL, right? You know, he would go probably play in like the minor leagues or something. He go, you know, he go to the AFL or what? What's the the um, the XFL? Oh God, That's where he the WWE one? That should ended like <laughs> in like 1998. They would re, but they would reboot it just for him so that they can, uh, you know, they can finally start. I just uh, figure some people will be playing like some street ball. Really. They'll play some street ball or something. The gorilla will be walking down the street and they'll see him playing. They'll be like, you know, the gorilla wants to play, so the gorilla comes on. You know, to play some street, you know, football, and the guys are like, "Whoa, you're a gorilla. That's fucked up. Like, we don't want you to. We don't want you to play." And the they gorilla, know, they know sign language. Of the course. gorilla would have. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, I forgot about the sign language thing. Let's the say they do. Up going, this is a would you like me to play? This is a hypothetical. Let's say they do. The gorilla's feelings get hurt, and then a massacre happens. <laughs> it just rips people apart. Super <laughs> gorilla a, kills eight. Good plot for uh, Gridiron Gang Two. And now, and now, after he gets Planet denied, the he goes and kills people. He develops a drinking problem. He's on the run as a fugitive. This is a great movie idea right here. Yeah. I don't even know why that guy wasted it in a hypothetical question. He could have sold this to Hollywood. Yeah, he could have. Screw Mighty Joe. It could have been like you know the revival of like another Air Bud kind of deal, <laughs> except with the gorilla. You know, gorilla Bud. Yeah. <laughs> Gorilla oh, Bud plays the NFL the football. Oh, oh, that was that was good. That was pretty good. And that's just a taste. That's just one of fifty. <laughs>